I was back in Montfaucon Square after all these years. Beneath the cobbles lay a hidden world of ancient waterways and catacombs, some of it built by the Knights Templar as a meeting place and sanctuary. Once again, I was going to have to go down there to discover the truth. One of these days, I was going to see this fountain working. Not today, though. There wasn't a whole bunch I could do with the fountain except admire it. On the boarded up door was a notice. Due to local seismic events and out of concern for the safety of our patrons, we will be closed for the foreseeable future. I didn't want the notice and I didn't want to break into the cafe. Ah, the Montfaucon manhole. Happy memories. I couldn't lift a big iron cover like that with my bare hands. In the open tool bag, I could see a sewer key. Hey, monsieur! Leave those tools alone! Me? Oh, I was just admiring them. Well, do it from further away! Monsieur! Sorry, sorry. The mustache, the attitude, the ass hanging out of the pants. It was the same guy I'd met years ago at the bombed out cafe. Of course, back then I was still in Fighting Evil Conspiracies Junior League. It was the road worker I'd first met years ago. Hi! How you doing? <laughs> Ça va. As long as we don't have another earthquake. Well, you should be safe here, by the old church. You're joking. Look at it. But it's medieval. Medieval? Shoddy, you mean. Should be torn down and replaced with something modern. Really? Something nice in concrete and steel. Built to be earthquake-proof. You think there's gonna be more quakes? Of course. And look at all that rubble. The thing's a death trap. Wait a minute. You seem very familiar to me, monsieur. Me? Oh, I doubt it. But of course! You're the guy who gave me that racing tip! Oh, uh, right, so I am. That horse made a fortune for me. Turned my whole life around. Guess I'm just a natural. It's a gift, monsieur, a gift. But how come you're still digging up roads? I've got my own company now, monsieur. And a drill, see? Not a pick. If you have any more tips like that one... You'll be the first to know. What exactly are you doing here? These damned earthquakes are screwing everything up. There's plenty of stuff underground that needs fixing after that last shock. So you're digging a hole for the utilities guys to get to the damage? That's it. And the sooner we're out of here, the happier I'll be. You said we. I don't see anybody else working. My workmate, Alphonse. He's snoring up a storm in the cab of my truck. Why isn't he helping you? Medical exemption. He's got a piece of paper from his doctor saying he is clinically seismophobic. He's afraid of earthquakes? Just so, monsieur. And you believe it? You can't argue with a piece of paper, can you? So, how did you end up with this Alphonse guy? Positive discrimination. We have to take on a set number of cowardly idiots every year. I was just wondering, that sewer key you have there... No. I haven't even asked yet. You were going to. You got a thing about sewers, haven't you? Well, yeah, maybe, but... My old sewer key went missing after our last meeting. Hey, don't forget, I gave you that winning horse. True. So, get me another winner. And I'll let you make free with my toolbox. Some hope. I'd have to think of another way of getting it. Monsieur, you're doing it again! Hey, I did you a good turn once. You could give me a break. If I do, monsieur, it'll be your neck.
The guy was sleeping like a baby. Hey, you! I'd seen dead people with more life in him than this guy. It was the compressor that powered the pneumatic drill. Mon Dieu, so help me! Hey, Alphonse! What do you think you are doing, idiot? What do you mean? You cut off the compressor! No! What do you mean calling me an idiot? This is no way to treat family! What are you talking about? We are not family! But if I were, you would be ashamed! I'm only ashamed I hired you, you... turnip! Do you take that back? You are right! It is an insult to vegetables! I ought to knock your block off! Then why don't you try? Because you'd kill me! Ah! Not a complete idiot then! You've done it again, you half-wit! I'm not a half-wit! I was rounding up! Um, what am I supposed to have done anyway? You turned the compressor off! Again! I haven't done anything! You never do anything! Turn it off again and you'll know what real trouble is! Is that a threat? Yes! What of it? Mm, nothing! I'm just getting good at spotting them, that's all. So help me! Oh, what is it now? Have a guess. Um, is it my turn to get the sandwiches? The compressor? You turned the compressor off again! Did I? Unless the compressor was switched off by an unexpected event at the quantum level? No, I try not to do anything at the quantum level. It's rare for you to do anything at any level. Look, Monsieur Flobage. I am really not doing anything to the compressor! Bottom line, Alphonse. I don't want that compressor cutting out again. Understood? <sighs> Hey, Alphonse, what do you think you are While the doing, workman was you? looking the other way, I <laughs> borrowed his sewer key. Funny, every time I get involved in saving the world, I turn into a kleptomaniac. Look, Alphonse, I am tired of arguing with you. Just be sure it doesn't happen again, huh? I was an old hand with sewer keys. 
with only the faintest shudder of deja vu, I prepared once again to get intimate with the Parisian sewers. Come on, you piece of... I couldn't understand it. I'd once lifted this very manhole easily. Perhaps I'd let myself go. Eh, hey, monsieur? That's not my sewer key by any chance? No! What do you take me for? You just happen to carry one around with you. Of course. Doesn't everybody? Sure. Anyway, you're wasting your time. That cover was welded down years ago, during the Sieur Jacques panic. Great. If I wanted to shift that cover, it'd take something a whole bunch stronger than me. There was no point trying to lift it. It'd take something much stronger to break the welds that held it in place. I left it alone. There's only so much fun you can have with a compressor. No, I wasn't leaving here until I had something to show for it. A little old lady was sitting by the urinal, or pissoir, as the French call them. I guessed she was some kind of concierge. It was a clean, well-maintained pissoir. Hi, how are you? Alive, thank God. I know the feeling. Nice view of Montfaucon Square you've got here. <sighs> What's the point of a view when life's not worth a sou? Hey, you're not one of those crazy hip-happening street poets, are you? Don't be ridiculous, monsieur. A look after a pissoir. Have you met that road worker over there? Bah! That dog! Comes over here willy-nilly taking advantage of my facilities. Isn't that what your uh, facilities are for? Yes, sir. But not with such enjoyment. What do you mean, enjoyment? He whistles, he sighs, he spits, and he jiggles. Jiggles, huh? Jiggles. He has no shame. That's a problem. It's a national disgrace. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, it's a urinal, not a cathedral. Ah, men, you are all the same. And when you are not jiggling, you are watching football. Go. This wasn't going to be easy. The lady clearly needed years of Jungian analysis, and I didn't have time to wait. So what do you do? I'm a brain surgeon. What do you think? I think you look after this pissoir. Du talon! No flies on you, monsieur. Long as I don't go in there. And just what is that supposed to mean? Huh? Whoa, my mistake. I backed off. It's a well-known fact that toilet attendants account for the majority of homicides in France. Must be the bleach blocks. You take pride in your work? This pissoir is the cleanest and most hygienic in all France. That must take a lot of dedication. Yes, sir. In this job, the harder you work, the more other people just pass water upon your efforts. I know the feeling. It's all very well having urinals here if I want to... Hmm... But if a guy wants to... You know... You shall have to use facilities elsewhere, monsieur. As you can see, the toilets were damaged in the earth tremor.
Hey! What? Who, me? What do you think you're doing up there? Admiring the view. I can see right into your pissoir from here. Pervert! Get down from there before I call the police. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Hi again. Any good gutters around here? Quoi? A gutter? Yeah, a common roadside gutter. I need to whiz, lady. A whiz? What is this whiz, monsieur? Mon dieu! You mean you wish to... in a gutter? Why, in the name of all that is hygienic, do you want to use a gutter when there is a perfectly clean pissoir here? That might pass for clean in the old world, lady. But I'd rather whiz in a gutter any day. This is an outrage. I shall investigate. You do that. Hi again. Any joy with your filthy cesspit? It is spotless. I checked it myself. You got rid of those cigar butts? Cigar butts? They were no... Were they? You didn't see him? Gee, I'd better not mention the dead rat then. Out of my way! A length of rope hung from the scaffolding. You never know when you might need a length of rope. Hey! You up there! Oh, hi there! I will not have some peeping toms spying on my customers while they do their business! Hey! I'm not spying on anybody! Want to explain that to the police? Uh, no, not really. Coming down. The length of rope had come from the scaffolding. There was no anchor point to tie the rope to. I'd tied the rope to the sewer key. I didn't have the horsepower to lift that cover, but I knew something that did. Hey! What are you doing? Just setting something up. You'll love this. You've anchored the van. Let me ask you a hypothetical question. Your driver... Alphonse, damn his cowardly liver. ...is scared of earthquakes, right? What would he do if there was an earthquake right now? He'd slam the truck into gear and get out of here like... Oh! That's right. With a manhole following him home. He would never leave it down. Is that a bad thing? No. That's what sells your crazy scheme to me.
Earthquake! Earthquake! <laughs> Magnifique! I don't know what I'll tell the insurance people, monsieur, but it was worth it. Sprinkling sunshine into people's lives. I guess that was what I lived for. But right now, the sewer beckoned. My gateway to the subterranean world of Paris lay waiting. The ladder led back up to the world above. This archway had been bricked up, and not that long ago either. No mystery there. I was the one who wrecked the original in the first place. The wall was well built and very, very solid. There was a faint inscription, but the decaying plaster made it almost impossible to read. I could make out some medieval French and some Latin, but not enough to squeeze out any meaning. I left the ancient archway alone. The inscriptions in the arches probably once told the truth about the extermination of the Templars. Like a lot of truths, time had blurred it. There was nothing I could do with the ancient archway that wouldn't have upset archaeologists. A big, spooky skull stared out at me. The mouth looked out of proportion. I didn't like the idea of putting my hand in the skull's mouth. But hey, what the heck? I was only risking mutilation. No blade took my hand off at the wrist. And no spider bit me, for which I was very grateful. But there was nothing in there to help me either. The strange stone object had been dropped by the guy who mugged me. The skull's mouth had the same shape as the stone cylinder. Aha! I could write a book on secret doors. I really could. Another day, another secret door. I'd already unlocked that secret door once. The novelty value was all gone. was a jar. I could hear voices. There were a couple of Cesaro's men, and they had brought a dog. You hear something? Nah. How much longer we gotta be here? Like the boss says, till it's all over. Or till that yank turns up and we kill him. Yeah. And no guesses which one I'd prefer. Me too. I hate that guy. Well, now let's be accurate, eh? You hate everyone. True. True. I couldn't risk attracting their attention. The symbols matched the cloth we'd found in the Congo. I could hear the men moving around. I would have been caught if I'd gone through the door. I had to find another way in without being seen.
Oh my god! Something truly nasty had happened here. A trail of blood led round the corner. There was a large pool of blood on the floor. We weren't talking chickens here. A trail of blood led away. Either someone had crawled away or been dragged. I wasn't going to dip my fingers in this stuff. It was still fresh. Cesaro and his men must have come through that way. They must have blocked it off behind them so no one else could get out that way. <clears throat> I wasn't going to get through there in a hurry. The bars were several inches thick. arrived too late. Cesaro and his men had shown no mercy for these poor souls. How could anyone do this? Cesaro's men had shown no mercy. A fire had been burning. It was still smoldering. The attack must have happened within the last few hours. I just wanted to leave him in peace. An unfinished chess game. There were only two pieces left. A bishop and a king. It was a no-win situation. It was one of the Templars. He'd been badly beaten. The sink was full of dirty used mugs. The attack had obviously been sudden and unexpected. The microwave's oven control panel was smashed, but the 10 second button was still intact. Only useful if you needed to cook something for less than a minute, of course. I decided not to operate it. The noise might alert any nearby guards. It was a very expensive coffee machine. Cesaro's men had smashed it up pretty good. I guess they didn't like coffee. It was too beaten up to work. My heart was racing enough already. I didn't need coffee. It was one of the Templars. He'd been badly beaten. Cesaro's men had shown no mercy. I didn't want to, but I had to search the body. The only thing on him was an old rusty key. It was an old key. I'd already searched him. I didn't want to do it again. I just wanted to leave him in peace. One of Cesaro's men was guarding the kitchen. I couldn't get through while he was there. I was going to have to find a way to distract him.
The microwave suddenly sprang into life. It was going to make a noise. I had to hide, fast. Mission accomplished. The guy was now trapped in the room. The large door was keeping the guard in the room. He was a pretty useless guard. I could hear the guy muttering to himself. He sure didn't sound happy. I locked the door for a reason. I needed that guard to stay in there. If I'd let him out, he'd have killed me for sure. The guard had sat down to a hearty meal. Beans, egg, some chicken. How could anyone sit down to eat a meal surrounded by this carnage? Some cast iron pots with broth simmering in them. Sweet smells wafted over. On the shelves were a mixture of canned foods and game. Hmm. Pheasant and beans. A Stobart family favorite. It looked like an old map of Europe. Had to be 500 years old. Game, hung, ready for skinning and cooking. The Templars lived well, rabbit, pheasant. That was strange. The blood trail led to the wine rack, but then completely disappeared. No pool of blood, no body, no nothing. It was a bottle of Italian wine, Modena Lambrusco. It was a bottle of French wine, Chateau Berlantois. It was a bottle of German wine, Wiesbaden. It was a bottle of Israeli wine, Carmel Sauvignon Blanc. It was a bottle of French champagne, Montagne de Rennes. Damn, that's not right.
presto. To my delight, the wine rack moved to reveal a secret passage. The blood trail continued. Ah, Stobart. We knew you would come. Hey, you're the guy who mugged me outside the theater. We had to have the key of Solomon. Now listen to me. Susaro is more powerful than we thought. There isn't much time. You must find the others. Protect the key. Where is it? Look for the statue. It hides the... Hides what? I wasn't going to get any more from the guy. It was the body of the guy who'd taken the key from me outside the theater. He tried to tell me something about a statue. I couldn't find any clues. Whatever he was trying to protect, it was clearly worth laying his life down for. The broken clock had stopped at 3.42. Cesaro's men must have been here for at least an hour. They must have been desperate. Hardly anything had been left untouched. The clock was smashed so badly it was beyond repair. They'd looked everywhere for the key. I hope they found it. was a large illuminated Bible. Each handwritten page must have taken days. If Grandpa Stobart could see me now, he'd sure be proud. The closest I've been to a Bible in years. I guess I just preferred thrillers. I like this version though. It had some pretty pictures in it. The clock was large, beautiful, and useless. It didn't work. The key to adjust the time had been left in the clock face. The key to adjust the time had been left in the clock face. I set the clock to 3.42, the time I'd seen on the smashed clock. Nothing happened. I entered the time that corresponded to the date this place was dedicated to St. Stephen. It was around 1247. That didn't work.
It was a medieval tapestry depicting a knight on his horse. It reminded me of a manuscript I once found. A finely carved statue of a knight of the Templar order. Not very flattering. I couldn't see any levers or buttons. It was a large statue of a man. Maybe this was the statue the Templar had been trying to tell me about. Below the statue, on the plinth, was a brass plaque. The statue was made of solid stone. I couldn't see any moving parts. The plaque indicated that the statue was of Saint Stephen. Below his name was a quote. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Revelation. Now, when I was a boy, Grandpa Stobart, or to give him his full title, the very Reverend Archie Stobart, had insisted I went to Bible class. So, Revelation was no revelation to me. The plaque was set into the plinth, It couldn't be removed from its recess. It was a statue of a Templar knight. The statue was old, very old. The statue was carved from solid rock. I couldn't see any switches or levers. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Chapter 1, verse 3. 1, 0, oh, 3. I had already looked in the Bible and found the chapter number. suggested by the verse from the Bible, chapter 1, verse 3. Nothing. I was running out of ideas. Then a sound caught my attention. Sliding statues, ancient mechanisms. You didn't get this kind of thing back in Idaho. 
Behind the statue, a flight of stairs was going up. Well, here goes. Let him go. Come in, Monsieur Stobart. We've been expecting you. Who are you? I am the preceptor of the temple. The chapter of Saint Stephen? Very good. Your deductions brought you here as we knew they would. My deductions also tell me you've got the key of Solomon. We did have it, briefly. But alas, it has been taken again. Cesaro. He attacked swiftly and with overwhelming force. My men fought bravely, but it was not enough. A few of us retreated here to hide. A few miserable survivors. Why is the key so important? You know of the armillary? Some? Cesaro has set the armillary in motion. He will use the key to release the dragon energy in an enormous burst which he will then harness to fulfill his own desires. So where's the armillary? Surely all we have to do is go there and turn the damn thing off. The whereabouts of the armillary have been long forgotten. Three ancient stones hold the secret to its location. Don't tell me. You lost them too? We have one stone. Show me. Bingo. I do believe we've got the other two. It is said that the three stones are linked. With the stones there is a chance. What can I do to help? We will send our best knight, chivalrous, tenacious, and unswerving in his determination to fight evil. Well, whoever this guy is, he's going to need a hand. That is for him to decide. Hi, guys. George, are you okay? Just about. I went down below Montfaucon. They led me to a secret Templar base, and Andre, you were right. The Templars did survive. Of course. The original St. Stephen chapter. But they must have been hundreds of years old. My little chickpea, it doesn't mean the people themselves were original. Oh. Trouble is, Cesaro beat me to it. He's got the key of Solomon. He's probably already on his way to the armillary. Did you find its location? No. If the Templars ever knew it, it's long been forgotten. They did give me another of the alphabet stones, though. Another clue? Not only that, they, uh, knighted me. What? Knighted, as in, made me a knight. Extraordinary. That's how it felt. Did they do it with a sword? Yep. Whole shebang. Arise, Sir George. What do you think, Nico? I'm speechless. I guess if you and me were married, that'd make you a lady. Very funny. So what should we call you? Your Highness? My liege? Oh, shucks. Let's not be formal. Lord Stobart of Idaho will do for now. The computer had been fixed. I had no reason to use the computer at the moment. I'd forgotten just how beautiful Nico was. 
Do you have any fresh ideas? I'm as stumped as you are, George. Have you noticed how Andre has changed lately? He's almost charming. Beatrice has addled his mind. You don't like Beatrice much, do you? She's a silly, over-made-up, underdressed little girl. Ouch. I just think Andre could do better for himself. That's all. Any idea what the symbols on the alphabet stones could mean? No. Even Andre is not able to help with this. It's so frustrating. We know the armillary is somewhere in Egypt. So maybe we should look at a map of Egypt. And you just happen to have one handy, I suppose. Well, while you were out getting knighted, we found a DVD filled with satellite maps. Cool! Here it is. So let's take a look at Egypt. We thought satellite maps would more closely represent the Egypt of thousands of years ago. There aren't any ley line maps by any chance. This is scientific fact, George. Looks like it needs bringing up to date. You can't deny the evidence, Andre. Just when you think you understand the way the world works. I'm always finding the same thing about women. Hey. Sorry, uh, where were we? Look, there's Northern Africa. There was nothing I could see which matched the Omega symbol. There was nothing I could see which matched the Alpha Stone. Nico, look there. The Psi symbol looks like the Nile Delta. You're right, George. Let's have a closer look at that section. Nico. There's another match. The Omega symbol is just like that bend in the river. Let's have a closer look. I'm a bit stumped this time, George. Could be a dead end. No. Look at the arrangement of those ruins. They seem to be arranged in a cross, but not quite. They're like the points on the Alpha Stone. I wonder what they meant. That can't be right. One of them is missing. Exactly. The missing point is the location we're looking for. So, we just read the map reference. And we have the location of the armillary. Well done, George. Thanks, Andre. Come on, Nico. We have to stop Cesaro. One of us should be patrolling, you know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Off you go, then. Oh, thanks. No, no, I mean, I'd love to help, but, uh, well, strong sunlight makes me blotchy. Well, use your sunblock, then. Well... That makes me blotchy too. You're pathetic. How did you ever get to be a henchman? This is the place, all right. So, what's the plan? I thought it was your turn to think of one. Uh, I'm sure it was yours. I guess we'll just have to do what we always do. Wing it? I prefer the word improvise. That doesn't look like a proper entrance. Suzaro has tunneled his way into the temple. Guarded too. Direct approach is out. Again. We should scout out the rest of the area. Great idea! Did you bring the Cloak of Invisibility? Damn! I left it in a bag of forgetfulness! Nico! Did you hear something? No. I could have sworn. Yeah, you'd best go and look. Oh, right. Me? Why me? You're the one with the overactive imagination. Out of the two of us, who's scarier? Ah, but I also get sunburned, remember? Okay, okay, I'll do it. Oh, great. Now the guard's patrolling.
That was fun. Wasn't it? By the way, the guards asked me to thank you for waking him up. Oh, that? It was nothing. Nico and I had been through a lot together. Hey, Nico? I wonder if we'll run into Petra, too. There's an expression on your face when you say that which I really don't like. Well, she is, kind of. Think very carefully before you finish that sentence. Uh, a psychotic, scheming killer. Good. Just remember that. If Cesaro gets all that power, what do you think he'll be able to do? I don't know. I don't want him to get the chance to find out either. It was an exposed area of stonework where you could see the blocks beneath. George, what's that? Where? There, inscribed on that stone. She was right. Carvings were just visible on one of the stones. See the symbols? Look. The Nile Delta, the Alpha, and the Omega. We're on the right trail. I couldn't work any of the blocks loose with my bare hands. I was sort of expecting to excavate my way in. George, look! The last thing I expected was that the blocks were really a door. The stonework was actually a camouflage door. I didn't want to close it again. This was the endgame. As we entered the tunnel, I wondered what was waiting for us. 